Bienvenue dans le Salon de la Nouvelle Athènes pour une séance filmée dédiée à l'interprétation de la musique de Brahms, catalyseur de la tradition romantique germanique avec Clara Schumann, Reinecke et leurs disciples. Nous sommes aux prémices d'un mouvement de relecture du répertoire romantique dont la portée peut aller aussi loin que le mouvement baroque voici 40 ans. Pour cette période, nous disposons, en plus des sources écrites, des témoignages sonores exceptionnels, tels celui de Brahms interprétant ses danses hongroises en 1889 et de jeunes artistes appartenant à son cercle ainsi que celui de Clara. Cette partie filmée au but de Chaumont sur un piano d'époque viennoise Streicher 1847 de l'association nous dévoile une méthode pour sortir des stéréotypes modernes et retrouver la fluidité du tempo et de la ligne mélodique, ce sentiment de quasi-improvisation qui émane des enregistrements anciens. Installez-vous et partons à la recherche de cette spontanéité et ce naturel si savamment maîtrisé qui était l'essence du jeu romantique. Bonne écoute Before we get into the details with listening to performers who worked with Brahms and who wanted to preserve a specific Brahmsian performance style, because when they were old, this generation of young musicians at Brahms' time, they were actually asked to um, record for posterity, to uh, get some kind of a, a message for, for us. And I would like to start with a piano piece played by um, Ilona Eibenschitz, who uh, was a student of um, Clara Schumann and worked with Brahms when she was a young uh, pianist on his Opus 119 Klavierstücke. And we have one recording that she made of this. And I just want you to listen to the atmosphere and the character of the music. Um, and I want you to describe how this music sounds to you, how this a performance feels when you imagine that you're in the place of this performer. So that's um, number two of the num uh, over 119 piano pieces. <laughs> So what does your 21st century body tell you about the convincing sound that you first described? What, what, what is it? Well, the, the liberty, the liberty yes. with the time. <laughs> I would say like liberty with the elastic time, the thing with, I mean. Right. I think I get the expression going somewhere, really. Is that it? Yes, yes. yes. Now you're the pianist, you're the big <laughs> shocked one. <laughs> so we are actually the shocked one. <laughs> but actually I, I quite understood the, the piece, I understand the lines. And I think there is, a, there is a speech going on here, rather than a very textual respect of, of the score, like knowing the score, you know, it's something very quasi-mechanical, if you see it. And actually she plays it in a way that uh, everything is meaningful, even at a very, very tiny Right. So the question is, how in the world can we try to approach this to get close to a feeling that's so foreign to our mm. bodies uh, in such a short time? Mm. And we will probably not get very far, but at least we can try to get outside what we know, how we, how we behave and, um, and move in our 21st century environment. And to get a little bit closer uh, to... 